children may experience recurrent fevers with no clear explanation and consequence of uh, these recurrent symptoms are unnecessary use of uh, antibiotics, uh, missed days of school for children, missed days of work time for parents, and obviously cost of repeated medical visits. Uh, the presentation of febrile uh, episodes in terms of severity, uh, frequency, duration may vary greatly. However, most children might be completely well during uh, the, the interfebrile periods. Among causes of the recurrent fevers in the pediatric cage, uh, we certainly need to consider uh, recurrent viral infections or recurrent airways infections, mostly for children presenting cough or rhinitis, uh, mostly if they attend a daycare or a childhood community. But otherwise, we need to consider um, less frequent conditions such as FAPA syndrome, which is characterized by periodically recurring uh, short uh, limited episodes of fever combined with uh, adenitis, uh, aftostomatitis and pharyngitis. We need also to consider cyclic neutropenia uh, in which the neutrophil count oscillates every 21 days and uh, displaying uh, mild infections in concert with the uh, nadir of the neutropenia. We obviously, obviously need to consider also auto-inflammatory diseases, rare disorders of innate immunity, uh, mainly characterized by familial Mediterranean fever, which is characterized by short, limited episodes of fever, but also tumor necrosis factor receptor associated periodic uh, syndrome, which is characterized by prolonged attacks of fever and also mevalonate kinase deficiency syndrome, which is a condition almost constantly starting in the pediatric age as its onset um, appears within the first five years of uh, life. Well, we need to put some critical questions where we face these children with uh, recurrent fevers. The first one is, how old was the child when the episodes of fever began? How long do the fevers last when they occur? And how often do the fevers recur? Is there any periodicity? Is there any uh, rhythmicity uh, in the uh, fever reappearance? And which are the associated symptoms and signs these children present? Does the child present uh, adenitis, uh, skin rash, abdominal pain, and so on? Obviously, uh, the evaluation of the inflammatory markers during an inflammatory attack gives, gives the, the clinician the possibility of uh, controlling how, how much is uh, uh, great the inflammatory process in the child uh, we are facing. And in these cases, genetic testing in the end can obviously help in the diagnostic definition of a, uh, of a specific auto-inflammatory disease.